What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys my first impression and the stat speculation of these uh, new units that we're getting uh, in two days and this is going to be a Dancer banner. So this is this year's banner and the first unit we have is Dancer Ishtar. So this really surprised me and <laughs> it says that she's from Thracia 776 over Genealogy of the Holy War but okay it's fine. She's a Flying Red Mage Dancer so definitely pretty unique in that category. Um, and her weapon is a legendary weapon which gives her minus 2 speed and it's pretty much having a brave effect. So it has got 8 might, doesn't really have same might as Reinhardt's weapon and it only gives her minus 2 speed so obviously she's made for quad attacking. I really wish they did that to Olwyn's Dire Thunder, maybe they could have some other name so that she could just uh, quad attack more but instead Olwyn also gets like minus 5. Uh, but in any case, this weapon is pretty nice, helped her quad attack. And she has got Swiss Barrow 3 as her slot is skilled. So right off the bat, she has got a premium skill, Desperation, and also Air Orders for the support. So she's just a dancer who can quad attack a lot. It's good if a dancer can pull their own weight if the situation needs it to be. Um, and like dancers like uh, Performing Art Shigure don't really have much offensive power. Now, they are mainly going to be a support unit, I understand. And in the player phase, you can either attack or dance, so you have to choose between one of them. But in general, if a dancer can pull their own weight, then that definitely helps a lot. Case in point being Young Azura, who can hit really hard, actually. Uh, she's deceptively fast and bulky as well. You guys see her all the time in my free-to-play guides. The thing with offensive dancers is that they are really good in players' hands, but not really good in AI's hands. And in Ether Raid's defense, offensive dancers are definitely going to be a bit annoying, because they might just run away and attack the opponent's unit. So in that case, offensive dancers can hold you back and throw off the AI, which might lead to a defense loss for you. So it's always really recommended to have as low of a attack you can have on a dancer in an Ether Raid's defense team. Uh, maybe have something like Fortress Defense, on Slot A, Sacred Seal, stuff like that, just to reduce their attack so that they do not attack a unit who's in their range and they prioritize dancing instead. So Ishtar seems to be our first quad attacking dancer. And she's going to be destroying this poor Axe Dragon. Um, so I did calculate the stats based on this attack alone. I mean, they're not going to be having any kind of special. So I think Ishtar is going to be having somewhere around 32-31 attack. And uh, as for speed, it can be up to 36 or 37. It could be even faster than that. And uh, she does have the minus 2 speed penalty from her weapon. So I think that's why they're probably going to be having higher speed for her base speed. And as for bulk, I don't really expect her to have any kind of bulk. And I kind of expect them to give the BST boost to Dancers this time around. Uh, just like all of the other units have got that. This is the first time we're getting Dancers after we have seen BST boost, I believe. Uh, so I believe that she's going to be having around 144 to 145 BST. But if they don't really give the BST boost to the Dancers, then it would definitely surprise me. So that's Ishtar. Uh, definitely can work pretty nicely in Flyroom teams. Can be really powerful, actually and can act as an offensive unit. And the next unit we have is Burkut. It's been such a long time since we have got an infantry lance unit, and he's here, uh, dancing. Of course, there was a cutscene in Shadows of Valentia where he was shown dancing, and I believe even the background is of uh, Regalian Castle, I think, yeah. So, he's got Verdandi as his legendary weapon. If Singor Dance is used, then it gives plus four to all of the stats of the target. Uh, pretty reminiscent of uh, Skuld from Flying Olivia and Uthror from Performing Arts Azura. But it's actually better than both of their weapons because this gives you plus four buff instead of plus three buff. So in that regard, it's definitely a better weapon. Uh, but obviously he's not gonna be having the mobility of uh, Flying Olivia. And he's got B-Dual Infantry, which is pretty nice. Finally, we got the skill. So people uh, who have their plus and merge blue infantry units can definitely make use of the skill. And he also has Distant Guard as a slotsy skill. So, uh, this in guard is pretty nice combined with this uh, skill, but usually when you're going to be dancing some kind of uh, offensive unit, they're going to be going far away from you most of the time if they're offensive units. Uh, if they're not, then they're just going to be staying close, and then I guess in that case you could give them the distant guard buff. Um, so, he's just an infantry dancer, and uh, his HP is actually pretty good. So, he's getting plus 5 HP from B-Duel uh, infantry for sure. But he has got 41 base HP, which is actually pretty good for a Dancer. And with some Blessings and like HP Seal, you could definitely make him an Infantry Pulse Dancer for your Aether Raid's defense. Sylvia and Ninian are used for that. And Burkut, I think, can also function for that because of his HP pool. 
I believe that he's probably going to be getting high attack, uh, really, really low speed, uh, decent resistance, and good defense at 33. So that's what I'm expecting out of stat spread of Burkut. Obviously, cannot calculate anything because he's simply dancing to Sharina, which is probably not very good. He should be dancing Renea. What's with this? I don't like it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And the next unit we have is uh, Nephany. So <laughs> this was definitely pretty out of the blue, actually. She still is wearing her helmet, but makes sense because she doesn't really like uh, removing her helmet for the fear of getting like attention, I think, I, I remember. Um, and she is the first uh, dancer archer in the game. Um, so can definitely be pretty nice for shooting down some flyers every now and then while giving you the dance support. She's got Fiddlestick Bow Plus, and uh, this pretty much gives you the close guard effect. Nothing really too special. Um, it's nice for like the defensive support, and I believe Renea is also going to be having the same skill um, in her weapon. And she's got uh, this dance skill, which is not really all that good, honestly. Um, because Wings of Mercy is just a much better skill to be run on your dancer. And she's got Speed Tactic, the very rare skill, uh, which they have somehow made this to be. Still not a secret seal for Speed Tactic or even available on any kind of like easily available unit. Um, so, Nephni doesn't have the best base kit. Uh, she just acts as a defensive support with the Fiddlestick Bow Plus and giving you more defensive buff with her sloppy skill. Um, and that's pretty much it. And being an Archer Dancer, as I said, she can check flying units. Uh, that really depends on her attack stat though. And I'm expecting her attack stat to be not really all that high. I'm expecting it to be around 31 or 32. And I believe like Nephni is going to be the fast unit of this banner along with Ishtar. So I'm expecting like 37 base speed on her. Uh, it could be higher than that, honestly. Um, and uh, pretty low defense in bulk because uh, dancers do face the BST penalty. So not like you can allocate the stats too much into their other stats. And the next unit and the final one we have got is Dancer Reinhardt. <laughs> How does Reinhardt have three versions already? If you told me or anyone like four years ago that Reinhardt is going to be super popular in some kind of Fire Emblem mobile game, everyone would just laugh at you. Like, <laughs> I still could not believe it. He's a green flying dancer and uh, that pretty much gives you the weapon strangle with your Reinhardt emblem. We're just missing a colorless Reinhardt. And plot twist, turns out that Reinhardt was actually a colorless dragon. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> That's probably going to be happening a year from now. <laughs> it's just so funny. Uh, so yeah, he's a green flying dancer and he has got uh, pretty much dire thunder you could say even in this form he's just really <laughs> he's just really addicted to consecutively attacking what can I say um, and he has got death blow chill resistance and joint tone attack everything really synergetic with his weapon to increase his damage output and once again as I said these kinds of like offensive dances are really good in your hands, but not really good in AI's hands because the AI will just go in and attack the first unit the dancer sees in their range. Um, but yeah, as I said, you know, he can definitely pull his weight, most likely. Probably. I'm actually surprised that they don't have Deathblow 4 on him or even like Sturdy Impact. Yeah, actually, because he's a flying unit, you could definitely have Sturdy Impact on him. That's not really possible on the cavalry versions. So. For Reinhardt, I'm expecting him to... Okay, let's actually first see his, uh, his attack. Yeah. So he's gonna take out this guy, Axe Dragon, doing 35 damage. Um, and I expect him to have like 34 or 35 base attack. Now keep in mind, this is a neutral matchup. Uh, Ishtar also attacked an Axe Dragon, but she had the Weapon Triangle advantage. And she was doing 38 damage with the Weapon Triangle advantage. But here, our man Reinhardt is able to do 35 damage without any kind of weapon strangle interference. So I'm expecting like 34, 35 attack, a workable defense and resistance, really, really low speed. I mean, it's the standard Reinhardt allocation for stat points. Uh, so that's really what I'm expecting out of Reinhardt. <laughs> I saw Reinhardt on the thumbnail. I was like, what is this? <laughs> okay, so the final unit actually on this banner is Renea. She is not on the banner. She's actually going to be given out as a free unit in the Tempest Trial. They did specify that in the announcement. And she's a blue infantry mage. She seems to have some kind of 4 turn cooldown special, but I don't think she's going to be having this um, like when you get her. I, don't, I just think this is just for the enemy map. Um, and I think her weapon is going to be functioning similar to 
Uh, Nefni's weapon, just giving you the close guard effect. It could be distant guard as well. Honestly, I would like the distant guard effect. That's uh, that's much more useful in terms of like free to play guides and stuff like that for abyssal content, uh, for tanking stuff. Um, that's definitely gonna be helping with uh, with Ike for sure. So I'm really looking forward to Renea. She is gonna be our blue free to play dancer before Ninian is given out as a free to play unit. So now we have uh, free dancers for each color except for colorless. So definitely hoping for a colorless dancer in future. I just hope that Renea has got good support skills. Uh, but I think she might just have one of those dance skills. I don't know. They're probably gonna do that. Something weird like that. But nonetheless, I'm still looking forward to Renea, our new dancer. Definitely really excited to hopefully use her in my free-to-play guides. And uh, that's gonna be it for this first impression, uh, dancer banner. I don't think these dancers match the utility and the support of Legendary Azura at all. And Legendary Azura is basically the best refresher in the game. So obviously any kind of new dancer or singer is gonna be getting compared to her. And these units don't really come close when it comes to that kind of support or the utility. Legendary Azura's Grey Waves and uh, Prayer Wheel is just absolutely insane. Um, and we also have Raisin and Leon as uh, the Beast Dancers and they can provide the healing. So these units also don't match the healing kind of utility. I think they're probably going to be more offensive, uh, which is nice, I guess, as a change. Um, but yeah, we have so many dancers in the game. It's really hard to make them unique. They did try to make uh, Reinhardt and Ishar unique at the very least, giving them the Brave Tomes. So that's something. Um, and that's pretty much gonna be it for this uh, banner impression. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like. It's gonna be helping me tremendously. And let me know about your thoughts about this banner in the comment section down below. Let's have a chill discussion. And uh, if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Mom Heroes content. And also 3 has this content because I'm doing a let's play on that. And please be sure to hit the notification bell and click on all so that you can always get the updates to my videos whenever I upload, because YouTube sub boxes are hell-bent on not working, just like Nefni being hell-bent on not removing her helmet. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.